Hi and welcome to my Queen Cottage. Thank you so much for returning if you've been here before and if not, welcome. For today's video, I just wanted to share with you a really quick thrifted haul. This is a very small haul because I spent way too much money on some of these items. The first item I wanted to share with you, I think it was actually a pretty good deal. I've been looking at these apothecary jars at TJ Maxx. They usually run like $15 and I picked this one up from Goodwill for $4. I'm really glad that I found it at a good price because I've really wanted one of these and I have specific ideas of how I'm going to use this in my summer decor. This next item was a practical purchase. I think it's five vintage nesting mixing bowls for $10. I got these at a local flea market. I really like that they all match and they all are nesting, so they will take the place of some bowls that I've been wanting to purge for a while. I have quite a few mixing bowls that just take up way too much space. Next up is where the absolute overspending splurge has come in. These next two items are where you're going to look at me and say, you have lost your mind. Why did you get these things? I got them because I honestly love them. I don't know if you can see this very well. This is a toast holder with two little shakers and a place over here. I assume this is for butter. This I'm going to use for cinnamon and sugar. And of course, it fits four pieces of toast. It has a cute little knife that goes with it. You probably can't see that too well. Um, I overspent on this. This cost me about $15. However, it is real crystal and it is silver plate. And I just think that I'm going to love this on our breakfast in bed tray. And so this was kind of a pampering splurge that I really wanted. So I went ahead and got it and I absolutely love it. It still needs to be washed. I have not used it yet. This next piece, I don't even know how to show it to you on camera, so I'll do the best I can. But it's actually for my son, but it goes along perfectly with my summer theme for my living room. Back in March, we went to Florida, and I never really understood the whole palm tree, beach theme, shells everywhere type decor until that trip. Now I totally get it. I'm getting palm trees. We collected shells while we were at the beach. The white sands, the beautiful ocean. It was amazing. We loved our trip. And my son is infatuated with boats. Boats of every kind. He loves fishing and he associates boats with fishing. So when I saw this at a local flea market, I thought, oh, should I get it? I really think he would love it. It would really fit in with my summer decor, but all oh, that price is killing me. I will leave the price in the description box below so you can see how much it costs. You can tell me in the comments how much you thought it would be, how much you're willing to pay for something like this, because to me it's an outrageous price, but maybe to you you think, oh, that's nothing. It was, it's worth way more than that. I don't know, but here it is. I can't even put the whole thing in the frame. Look at that. I got him a boat. <laughs> it does need to be cleaned up. I'll put some better pictures on my Instagram if you're interested in seeing more pictures of that little boat. I don't know when it'll be, but keep an eye on Instagram. I'll link that below as well if you want to see better pictures. So until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.